What are the chances that I got these two cameras synced? We'll find out. What's up guys, Paramoto back at you. How are you guys doing today? Today I'm doing just fantastic. I just met my girlfriend up for lunch at the good old Leesville Tap Room. Figured I'd make a quick little video before I gotta go to work tonight. I'm on the night shift at 6 p.m. Which means I got a brave rush hour traffic, which I don't like. So I've decided to try the two cameras again. I'm gonna see if it works. If it doesn't work at all, you guys probably won't see any of the footage whatsoever from the two cameras. But if you guys have been watching for a minute, last year, I decided I wanted to try a two camera setup. And uh, honestly, it worked, it was fine, but it made video editing just such a pain. I was literally spending three to four hours for every little video. And it wasn't even like, it wasn't even for like labor intensive videos. It would be for like a normal average everyday video. It would be like three hours of editing. It just, it wasn't fun. It was really killing it for me. And I was able to get a lot more videos out after I stopped using it. But I think I may have figured out a trick to make it easier. So I'm gonna go ahead and give it a try. So I've been in talks with Garcia Moto in Northeast Raleigh and they have a 1299 that I would just love to ride and review. I don't even know if they're gonna let me ride it because I messaged them for a test ride and like they're, they're like, we're gonna need a, a credit application and <laughs> all this other stuff. I'm like, I'm just looking for a test ride, bro. And then I texted them like, hey, you know, I got this channel. Would you guys wanna collaborate? So we'll see what happens. I hope I hope good things happen because I would love to get some dealership support. Not even money. Like I don't, I don't even I don't want money. I don't want nothing. I literally just want access to motorcycles to ride. That's all I want. Like you got you know the new V2 coming out. And you got V4s are always fun to ride. And then I would love access to all the new hotness from Ducati to ride and review from time to time. That'd be sweet to get like a call from like Garcia Moto like hey we just got a V2 in. You need to come ride it. Riding a V2 right now It's really not that much different. If you're gonna get a V2, just go ahead and buy a V4 So guys, sorry I've been a little bit sporadic uh, to be honest with you. I'm so adulty lately like Adulting has been getting in the way of videos so much lately like literally like the stars need to align for me to be able to ride a motorcycle and like today, I was meeting my girl up, I'm like, I'm gonna take my motorcycle. Cause as you can see, it is nice and dreary in North Carolina now. And it's like, not every day do I get to ride. So it's like, I have to be like off of work and it has to be like not raining. And then it also has to be like nothing important going on. And then I can, then maybe I can get out on my motorcycle. So it's getting real lame. You know, one thing that I will say is you know, even, even during like the, the fall months and whatnot, like, if it's at least just like a little warm like 50 degrees or so like i'll take my bike to work and now since it's like in the 30s every night i can't ride to work anymore which is putting a big damper on making videos i appreciate the patience like in north carolina we really only have three months that are kind of poop you know and that's december january and february and basically every other month is fine you know You know, and it's like, we're really lucky here. We are we are super lucky here that it is nice most of the year. So, you know, I'm still grateful and I'm grateful for you guys and I appreciate the patience. If you guys are ever wondering like, hey, why does Paramount only put out like one video a week now? It's because of that. It's because of adulting, it's because of weather. I just got smacked with a leaf. That was a heavy leaf. I kind of like stung. Maybe it wasn't a leaf, it was a bird, I don't know. I'm gonna have to watch the footage. Did the Paramoto just get attacked by a bird? I'm definitely happy being back out here though, man. This, I love this bike. I do. Although it does need a front tire like you would not believe. We're about 140 miles away from its like first actual service. So I'm gonna get a new tire for it and everything and hopefully it'll be all good to go for the next season until I need to replace the rear tire. I don't know. It's always something. It's always something with motorcycles. What is this? What is this? I don't know what that is. I've been looking for this guy. I've been so looking for this guy. <laughs> I've been looking for this guy for so long. I 
I've been looking for this guy for a minute. Every once in a while, he goes cruising past my house. Every once in a while, there's a cop here. We're going to calm it down. Calm it down, calm it down, calm it down. Calm it down. It looks good. I think it's a 12.99. That's nice, dude. It's definitely got a single sided. I, I bet you anything. He's an old guy. I've been looking for him for a minute, man. I've been looking for that guy for a minute. So every once in a while, I'll be chilling by the, by the house. He will be blistering past. And I'm just like, oh my god, that's a Ducati. Oh my god, that's so a Ducati. And then he's like, flies by. I finally saw him. That's awesome. I was, I was cooking there for a second, man. And like my front tire is like wobbling a little bit because it's so old. This tire needs to be replaced so bad. It was so funny that he was an older guy too. You're like, us Ducati dudes are like, they're not the young hipsters. I'll tell you that much. It's like, that's the funniest thing ever. Like, I was like basically called old by my insurance agent last time I switched insurance companies. They're like, well, yeah, I mean, you ride a Ducati. It's a nice bike. Yeah, it's more expensive than an R6, but it's like, I mean, like, how much stupid stuff are you going to do on that thing? Ducati riders are typically not young kids. I'm like, oh, I have an old man bike. <laughs> but it's whatever. I mean, I guess it's just because as a kid, you can't really afford these. Hell, man, I still can't afford these things. <laughs> It's a 61299 though. I should have stopped and asked him if he wanted to be on YouTube. Ah, you gotta think next time, Paramoto. If you wanted to pull over and meet up and like exchange info, go for a ride. If I didn't have to do stupid adulting and go to work. Adulting! See him again. I bet you anything I'll see him again. I've seen him plenty of times before. As long as I just kind of like take that back route like I typically do, I'll be good to go. I will say, talking about the 1299 earlier, seeing another 1299 riding Mr. Turbo's V4, it's really gotten me in the mood to step up motorcycles. All right, guys, thank you for watching my channel. I appreciate it as always. Please make sure to like and subscribe. Show me some love with that subscribe button, guys. Deuces.